Here at Origin Labs, we are proud to announce the release of Origin and Origin Pro 2025. Today, I'll go over some of the feature highlights from the newest version. With this release, you can expect to find new analysis features, including some that apply directly to graphs, new dialogues for file browsing and batch processing, several new customization features, and a variety of improvements to the user interface. We have also expanded our collection of plot types, templates, and added a number of new apps to our app library. In Origin 2025, applying a data filter to a graph will activate the new Data Slicer. This is a panel that is designed to help you visually explore your data by creating filters. It also allows for gadgets and other analysis tools to then be added to the filtered groups of data. All of this can be done directly within a graph window. Several improvements have been added to make browsing for your recently opened Origin files much easier. This includes a powerful new browser that can be opened by simply double-clicking in the blank Origin workspace. This lightning-fast browser searches local and cloud-based Origin files and allows users to filter results from the beginning or end of a file name, and it can even search within file paths. Hovering the mouse over a project displays a graphical preview and the context menu offers many options including appending projects and opening within a new instance of origin. The time series pivot feature can restructure data using a wide range of date or time intervals anywhere from seconds to decades and include support for fiscal year segments. In the new version, users can change the default report style. We have included a variety of presets, but users can also create and save their own style presets. On the topic of customization, graph styles can now be quickly and easily edited within the theme preview window. This is accessible via the mini toolbar. Presets can be edited, saved, or applied to multiple graphs at once. In our new and improved Notes windows, we can now preview results from any coding or formatting in a separate preview window. This window can be placed anywhere within Origin or as a floating window useful for multiple monitors. Control 2 toggles the preview window and Control R updates and refreshes the preview. Another new window in this release interactively builds summary sheets. By simply clicking on worksheet cells, report values, or graphs, users can quickly design their own output and results to be used later in batch analysis. It is now easier to access many of our commonly downloaded apps. Once installed, these apps will appear in the app library as usual, but they will also be found in relevant menus for faster workflows. And here we're showing off some of the new features when it comes to graph customization. Um, you can quickly select all nodes of the same type. You can edit multiple graphic objects, including text, even if they're on different layers. And here we show quickly changing X for all plots in a graph. And objects can now be swapped according to an anchor system. You can swap by top right anchor here. And now let's take a look at some of the new graph types that we have. We have the variability chart, multivary chart, dot plots for single grouped or stacked data, a probability plot uh, that has multiple data sets or groups, and the polar heat map. We've added a number of extended templates that can be found and downloaded in the template center. And in Origin 2025, we introduce a number of new apps, including two types of new data connectors, statistics and analysis tools, and improvements to our Design of Experiments app. To learn more about our exciting new features, please visit originlab.com 2025. Thank you for watching.